Hi and welcome to Big Tech. I will play Metro from like Stockholm slash Merchant slash Big Tech. Go to my channel description to see where you can follow me and what you can add me on. Alright, today I will be doing a review on the Asus P5G for 1 MLE. This is episode 324. Okay, here's the motherboard itself. It's a nice um, brown color. It has one PC or two PCI Express slots. One X16, one times one X1 slot, two PCI slots, which one has a wireless card in it. PCI Express slot usually has this graphics card in it. As of right now, it has two DDR, two DDR800 um, DIMM slots. This can also run DDR2 1066. Um, one IDE connector for SATA connectors. Um, it has nice Q flash. It has an MS, er, Asus Q flash and um, some other nice overclocking features in it. Um, LGA socket 775, which is covered by a Corsair H50. Um, so socket 775. This will support lots of the 775 processors. Of course, the Core 2 Dual and the Core 2 Quad will support those. Pentium, Celeron D, um, Celeron, and um, it doesn't list Pentium D, but that Pentium, but Pentium Ds will work in the system. Um, one 24-pin power connector, uh, another 4-pin on the other side, to help replace CPU. Not covered, but over there. Nice Norse Bridge heat sink, which is doesn't get very hot. It usually stays at around 40 degrees Celsius. South Bridge also looks quite nice. I love the color of the PCI PCI uh, slot things. That didn't really come out right, but whatever. Um, Okay, so it's very nice. Uh, it supports up to eight gigabytes of RAM, so if you can actually find eight gigabytes, that would work well. Um, I so I I suggest four gigabytes of RAM though for optimal performance. Uh, well, not, well, eight gigs would work the best, but it would be kind of hard to find eight gigs, and it'd be rather expensive. But um, so yeah. Um, has a nice BIOS interface. I like the overclocking features. I think I might have mentioned that. I'm not sure. It tells you your temperatures in the BIOS, like every motherboard should. On the back, it has uh, two PS2 slots, PS2 slots, an H, um, not an HDMI, a DVI, and a VGA, two US or er, four USBs, a LAN, and uh, HD audio. And uh, yeah. <laughs> And it has a little green power light there, in there. So, uh, so if it's plugged in, even if the computer's off, that light will still be on. And yeah, so I wish it did have six SATA ports, but it only has uh, four. So yeah, <laughs> who cares? It's four SATA ports. It's still is four, but you know, whatever. So yeah, I really like it. It's nice. Go to my YouTube channel for more technology related videos and unboxing of this motherboard and etc. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.